Today, we'll visit the Devil's Tower, or the home of Giant, or should I say, the Giant Causeway. Well, that's not exactly the name of this place, but in Northern Ireland, where this same structure exists, that is what it is called. But here in Nigeria, we call this place Duse Mamaki, and how our word has translated the mysterious rock. This is one of the many wonders in Nigeria people don't know or talk about. But where is this place exactly and how did it come about? Is this the work of nature, the work of God, aliens or giants? Well, in today's video, let's find out. You are currently watching our Northern Nigeria documentary series. Hope you have seen the other episodes. If you haven't, please do check them out. So today's video, I want to show you our mission. That's my mission. So I'm climbing on top of that hill. This afternoon, that is the mission. According to the explanation given by scientists of this similar structure in Northern Ireland, they said that this structure came into existence as a result of volcanic events that erupted the earth million years ago. However, legend also have it that this cylindrical well arranged shaped rock were homes of giants with such names as Phil Mako, who lived on earth many years ago. Today our mission is to climb to the top of that hill. All right. So we are currently in a place called Duse Mamaki in Biliri local government area of Gombe State. All right. When we get to the top of that hill, then we are going to see this magically well arranged stone that is very very unexplainable. Nobody can explain how those stones were magically arranged in a very beautiful way. And I'm also told that someone actually built the steps to get to the top just to make the hiking a little bit a little more easier. And I'm also told that it takes around two hours to hike from this place to get to the top. All right. Unfortunately for us, we are coming here in the afternoon. <laughs> so we have been beaten by the sun. But nonetheless, we're going to take up the challenge to get to the top. All right. So we have actually begun the climbing right now. So we are on our way. The bike guys that brought me, I have asked them to count the steps so we can be sure the number of steps that this place takes. Who go watch your bike? Okay. okay. The number of steps that I have to take to get to that top. That's what I'm doing. So those are the two bike guys that brought me slash tour guys. <laughs> I think the more you are going up, the more it's getting more difficult to climb. Whew. Especially with the sun. Ah, man, this is not easy. Then that's the second resting point. Listen, I know you're enjoying this video so far. But do me a favor, please click the like button and like this video. And also do me one big favor, click the share button and share this video so more people can get to see it. Many of you that are watching this video actually watch with your smart televisions. I know right now you're not watching with your phone. But please, could you pull up your phone and please subscribe to the channel. You've been watching without subscribing. Pull up your phone and subscribe. We really need to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of April. Please help me. Let's achieve that. Subscribe and also share the video so other people can get to see what we are doing on this channel. All right, thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. Ah. You can see the mountains, how beautiful they look. So I hope those resting points have some kind of a shed. A shed. Then that would have been very good. But here we are. Alright, so we are going to continue the climb. How many have you counted? Zero, one. Are you sure? Yeah. We'll have to recount what we are coming down. This part we are climbing. I have no steps, it's very rough. So we just have to climb. This is our step ended all over there. Now we are climbing on a very rough road. 
this is not easy. Traveling around Nigeria. Look at those beautiful stone. This is what we are going to see. We are beginning to climb the stones that are carefully arranged. As you can see, these are the stones that are actually carefully arranged all around here. Nigeria is truly beautiful. And if you don't travel, you will not see. See how these stones are beautifully arranged. Let's go. Oh, Let's go. All right, so we are still. We we'll have to see. Keep going. There. So we are going. finally made it to the top. It took about 40 minutes of climbing because I have to climb and as well record. And uh, the bike guys have brought me out so I have to engage them to the record. So that's why it took that long. It can actually take longer depending on how you are able to climb. So I actually like to climb fast uh, because I have so many other things to shoot. So. Just look at how this cylindrical well-shaped rock are so arranged like some kind of temple or ancient ruined house. Do you really think this place was as a result of volcanic eruption? And if it is, how come we have not seen any such eruption again in recent times? Well, that's because I believe scientists lied. Because many of them don't believe in God or giants. Well, as you watch this video, I don't know what is your conclusion. Do you think? this is as a result of volcanic eruption or do you think this is the work of giant comment below and let me know what your thoughts are many movies like game of thrones have gotten their inspiration from places like this and even acted in areas like this unfortunately most of our nigerian nollywood movies are yet to evolve into creating movies that reflect stories of places like this but never mind very soon you may actually find my movie on your screen one of those days just keep watching <clears throat> Okay. But anywhere the place that I will go, I will just come here to spend my time. Anytime I came here, I used to feel like beautiful. 
and and calm. I think he's got the arrange this thing. Work of God. The work of God. Yeah, that will make this stone be like this. Yeah. Paul and Joshua believe that this place was put together by God. Alright. But why is it I'm the doubting Thomas that actually believe that these things was put together by some Nephilim or giant that used to live here many years ago. Because if you see how well this place is arranged, you can see that it's intelligently put together. So, <laughs> and it's not arranged in any other side in all of this whole place where we are right now. It's just arranged only here. So I believe that this was not just nature. I believe that this was put together by some beings that used to live here many years ago. You know, this earth has been here for millions of years, so there's a lot that we don't know. And believe it or not, the giants used to live in this world. They are called Nephilim. For those of us who are Christians, we will die, we have our giants. Okay? If you don't have a giant, well, sorry, but giants used to live in this planet. Earth. So I believe that they also lived here and put this together. We actually been to Taraba in Cabri, where we find foot of giants. So, does exist really. In case you haven't seen that video, do watch that. Watch that video when we went to look for giant to find some giant. And it's just exactly foot of human being, a lot more. Yeah. Okay. So definitely there is no other way to see. So that is just my own theory. And thank you so much for watching today's video. If you visit Gombe State, please visit this place. It's a lovely place. You can come in the evening or in the morning. You enjoy it more than in the afternoon. But I have my reasons for coming in the afternoon, and I will tell you guys in another video climbed up and then we've come down right now and we also counted the steps so how many steps did we count for? we counted 301 alright so we counted 301 steps